Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have something a little special. Um, I've actually gotten my collar chuck up and working. Uh, this is a chuck I got with my lathe, and uh, I've tried once before to get it get it working. Uh, when I when I bought my lathe, I had no idea what this was. It was in the the parts pile. And uh, uh, it wasn't until later that I actually discovered what it was. And uh, as I said, I, I tried once before to get it working and I didn't quite have the time. Uh, but now I had a job to do which I uh, felt would be much easier if I had this up and running. So I took the time and I got it running. And uh, I'm so excited it's working perfectly no problems whatsoever super accurate and makes production work uh, much easier since the the workpiece can be loosened or tightened just by pulling this handle so it makes things a lot of smoother um, and faster so i'm going to take you closer and uh, i'll explain to you how it works okay so uh, this video is going to be about this chuck and uh, it's also going to be embedded a, a question which I have for my viewers and the question is if anybody knows what these collets are called because I have uh, read the manual for the lathe and I just can't seem to find it so uh, if anyone has the, the name of these collets I would really appreciate it. A lot of the collets I got with the lathe are uh, kind of odd sizes. There's 29 millimeters and a couple of other. Uh, uh, there's a 9 millimeter collet, and I really could use an, an 8 millimeter. So if anyone uh, knows what these are called, uh, just leave me a comment. Uh, I'm gonna take some measurements here. This is, I can actually measure it here. This is about 64 millimeters, this part of the collet. And uh, the collets are 76 millimeter high or long. So if anyone knows, leave me a comment. Much appreciated. Now, the actual collar chuck. This weighs about, I'm not going to be taking this off the lathe because it weighs about 50 kilograms. Um, it's got a, a housing which is in uh, cast iron. And then there's the part when you when you mount this, you mount the inner workings on the lathe spindle and then you put all the housing over and tighten with a couple of bolts here in the, in the headstock. So uh, to use it, you just to tighten the, the workpiece, you just pull down on this lever and it tightens. Now, there are some, some uh, adjustments to be made because uh, if, the, if the chuck doesn't pull tight enough on the workpiece you just loosen this bolt and this is just a, a cone bolt um, which is there to make this nut stay in place when the, the spindle turns. So what you do, do is you just loosen that bolt and you take your uh, homemade tool because there wasn't one for the lathe and if I need to pull it if I need it to pull tighter on the workpiece I just tighten the nut and I try again with the lever and uh, hopefully I'm in the right place and I can just tighten this uh, bolt again and it stays secure so 
if I want to change the collet, say I want to go from this 15 millimeter collet and I want to go up to a 35 millimeter collet, I just unscrew this this nut. Take the collet out, put the other collet in, like that, and just check so there's no, no uh, chips or anything in the way there. And just put it in. And we tighten it. Perfect! And we just tighten it with the tool. So what I need to do now is I take my, my uh, workpiece and I just try it out. You see the, the lever goes all the way in, uh, in the bottom and it doesn't grip tight enough on the workpiece. So I need to Keep tightening it. There we go. Uh, that's too tight. The lever doesn't want to go all the way on, into the to the bottom. So it can be a little bit tricky, but after a couple of tries, you have got it working. And you can really feel the the tension because if you doesn't if you don't get the lever down far enough it's not going to swing past the point in here where it holds itself when it, where it holds tightened when the lathe is running so you really need to go all the way down here and you can really feel it gripping gripping the uh, the material and it stays in place when even when it's turning. Now about the collets, I have uh, with the lathe I got a couple of different collets, uh, about 15, and I'm really happy about it because these collets, uh, from what I've heard, these are not very cheap if they are found at all. So I'm just going to take you over quickly to have a look at all the collets. There they are, and uh, there are some a couple of different ones. There are round ones, and I have some hex collets, and uh, they're ranging from nine millimeter up to uh, fifty millimeter. I think is the the biggest one. So. Uh, that's a good selection, but if there are uh, are possibilities of uh, extending, I would like to get a couple of additional ones. But we'll see if I can uh, manage to get a hold of any, and uh, if they are priced, so uh, you don't know, you don't lose an arm and a leg. So that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you want to see this truck in action, I have uh, have probably or will in the near future upload a video where I am making a couple of machinist jacks. And uh, in that video I am using this truck. Um, there's no talk about this truck in that video, but you can see it run and uh, it's working super. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.